Welcome to another video by Ferrell's Technology. Today we're working in Word and we're talking about how to create an index for your paper. An index really can increase the value of your writing when you have a long document that you've written. So let's put together an index on a paper that I wrote once upon a time while I was working for my doctoral journey. It was a history paper that I wrote on leadership through the centuries. And so as I look at this document, what I've decided I want to do is I want to find some people that I referenced in there and put them in an index in the back. So I've got about five and I've got a couple types of leadership that uh, would be valuable in an index. So the first one is Machiavelli. I'm going to go ahead and highlight Machiavelli here. Now, what I want need to do then, if I want to make that an index value, is I go up here to References, and I go over here to the Index Group, and I click on Mark Entry. That will bring up a dialog box here that I can then look through and make sure that I get all the information. I want to go ahead and just label the current page in my index. In other words, I want it to reference that I found this on page three. And I want to come down here and I can either just mark this single index item. I can mark Machiavelli just on this one page, or I can say, hey, let's mark all of the entries of Machiavelli all the way through the paper. So I can see where I have referenced that individual's writings all the way through the paper. So I'm going to click on Mark All. Now you'll notice a couple things happened if you're looking in back of this dialog box at my at my paper. You'll see that I'm going to close this dialog box. If I go to Home here, that it's turned on my paragraph mark here. So I can see all the fields. I can see all of the extra writing that is usually hidden to the user. And you'll see that for Machiavelli, it's put in an index entry. That's XE index entry. And in quotes here, it has what it's going to put in my index. If I scroll down here, you see that another entry for Machiavelli has also been marked. And so on through my paper, it will show up with all those index markings. As I proceed through my paper, I want to find a person named Bismarck, and I find him right here, Otto von Bismarck. He was a leader in the German areas, probably called Prussia back then. This individual Bismarck I want to go ahead and mark as well. So I'll go to my References tab, and I'll click on Mark Entry. I get the same dialog box again, and I'm going to tell it to mark all of them. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and close. Now I want to go ahead and mark a couple entries that are types of leadership. So if we come down here and we get into the modernism era, I am looking for scientific management theory. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to my home page and I'm going to go up here to search and I'm going to look for Okay, I find two results of scientific. Okay, scientific management theory. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and highlight those three words. I'm going to come up here to references, and I'm going to mark entry. Now, before, we had only marked a single word, just the last name of, the, of those two people, Bismarck and Machiavelli. Here, I can actually mark scientific management theory as a whole, I can click mark all, although in my index, it looks as though I'm only going to find one entry of scientific management theory. But I really want to know where that is in my index. So I'm going to click mark all anyway, just in case I find more. And then I'm going to close. And I want to find classical management theory. So I'm going to come over here to my search here, and I'm, go I'm going to look for classical and if I look through all of these, I'm going to go ahead and choose classical era, or era if you pronounce it that way. 
and I'm going to mark that entry. And I'm going to mark all of those. Now, there's another person that I want to mark here. I referenced Abraham Maslow in my paper. So I want to look at Maslow and make sure that he makes it into the index. And it looks like I only have one result, which is which was is interesting. And I'm going to mark that entry. And I'm going to click Mark All just in case. And I'm going to close. Now, what does it look like after I'm all done? I'm going to go to Home here. I'm going to turn off the paragraph mark. Now, one thing that you'll note is that when it puts all that extra text behind the word in a field, the field is picked up in the in actual index. If you show the paragraph mark, it looks like your pagination changes. But what, what you need to remember is the pagination only changes just for the view when you're looking at the references and at those fields. When you turn off the fields by turning off your paragraph mark up here, the page goes back to it, its normal. In fact, when you print it, it'll print without it, and it'll print normally with the normal pagination that you would expect. So I'm going to go down to the bottom of my paper. Notice I have a references page here. I am going to insert a page break there, and I'm going to come up to the page that I just created that was blank. And I want to create now an index. So I'm going to go to my references and I'm going to insert index here. So when I click insert index, it'll give me a kind of a look and feel sort of a, uh, an item. I can choose how many columns I want my index to be. And I can have a leader before my number if I want it. I can right align the page numbers. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now it kind of gives me a preview here. It puts the dots over here and puts the page number to the right of the column. Now I'm going to have two columns. So I'll have two columns where it'll say Aristotle dot 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 and page two, for example. And it'll do it in, in two columns. You'll see that here in a moment. And if I click OK, it goes and looks and finds all of that information. Now it didn't behave itself properly here and put put it on the next page. It didn't stay, stay where I wanted to put it. So, okay. So I, what I want to do is I want to delete my, um, my page break here so I can see the page break by opening that up. Okay. I've got a section break here and I only want to delete the page break. So if I delete the page break and now I go down under here, I can insert now my page break there. And there's my index, just where I wanted to put it. Okay, and I can go back to my home page, turn off the paragraph marks, and make it look look good. So now, notice classical era is shown on three different pages: one, two, and three. Machiavelli appears on two, three, and nine. Maslow on page five, and I have a nice little index. Now, as you go through your document and identify more items, your index continues to grow. And then all you would do is come and right mouse click here and you click update field and it will continue to update and add the new entries that you've added to uh, your index within your text. So I hope this has been helpful and I hope to see you again soon. Thanks.